Good morning, it is a Mountain Report. My name is Greg Powers, and yes, I'm living the dream. And it's Reggae Weekend, Mountainside Real Estate, bringing this live quad cam shot. As you see that floating up amongst the clouds, you see just a bit of a breeze up there this morning, 33 degrees down here. Uh, much warmer today, we're looking at some sunshine. A little bit of sunshine. Yes, that's right, it's okay. Uh, did you see, uh, Andy, the Rigometrics bus parked right there at the access road? I did. That's as far as they got. Yeah. But uh, they, they play, and of course, the shipyard got a series of reggae bands as well as uh, everywhere else uh, today. So I hope you'll get out and enjoy that. And I know, I, I know you're saying, Greg, what about the conditions? Well, I'm going to turn it over to the expert this morning, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only outside Andy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> expert. Oh, yeah, he is. the last day of reggae and some hopefully spring conditions out there on the hill time for your latest local forecast which you can find at our website wski tv.com including much more a mix of sun and clouds for today we should see base temperatures warming up into the upper 40s a west wind uh, noticeable especially this morning down around the base and 41 to 43 at the summit with some noticeable breezes up top up top as well so that breeze forecasted to be uh, strong in the morning but that should die down as the sun comes up 47 to 49 at the base for Monday with a west northwest wind still elevated a bit and summer temperatures getting into the 40s with sunshine uh, for most of the day could see a p.m. shower on Monday uh, Tuesday and Wednesday look like sunny days getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees Thursday should start out great and then some showers in the afternoon come into the picture uh, with a high temperature still warm around 53 degrees as far as your trail report brought to you by birchwood interiors 131 trails of ski and ride on 11 lifts getting you to 47 groom trails spring conditions out there burnt mountain bracket base that's all closed up uh, so take note of that uh, i want to stay on the groom terrain first thing this morning it's eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawdust are moving around the base area at 8 30 and then skyline double runner and super quad get going at 8 30 as well and 8 o'clock, last day for West Mountain proper, and Bucksaw Express gets going at 8.30 as well. King Pine and Whiffletree, those service the east side lifts. That'll be the last day for those lifts. Uh, Whiffletree during the week, it'll be open back up next weekend. And then Timberline, the uppermost lift, gets going at 9 a.m. as well. As far as grooming, they hope to get out to Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Sluice. On the west side, Scoot Windrow, West Mountain, and Horseshoe, as well as all the newer trails over off the Bucksaw Express. On the east side, up high, Hallback and Ram Down, down low, Wiffletree, Two Hall, and Slasher, and all the trails around the base area groomed out as normal, and the terrain park's getting work as well. If you're looking for some indoor activity or some summer uh, employment, check out the Anti Gravity Complex located right at the bottom of the Axis Road or get a hold of the town uh, for those employment opportunities. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center as well. You'll be see their uh, updated hours there. And the Sugarloaf Institution, we call it the Bag and Kettle. Check it out today for some cheeseburger soup on special. Right in Village Center. Happy Tunes as well. Great deals, up to 40% off on skis and whatnot. And the Tune and Store uh, program is happening as well. A great spot to put your skis to sleep for the summer. End of season sale, Kingfield Maiden Main Shop right on Main Street. So if you're headed south, be sure to stop by there. Some great deals 
and also great deals at Ski Depot. You can find them on Route 4 and J or ski-depot.com or raceskis.com. And the quad cam, check it out year-round so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. And we want to let you know we'll be giving away those amalgam skis we're drawing for the Amalgam Skis, and then we'll get in touch with them, and they'll make you up a custom order. Last live show is this morning, but we are here year-round, full-time. We don't go anywhere, so be sure to keep in touch with us. We're also streaming, so you can watch us year-round as well, so you can know before you go. Enjoy it, folks. I'm Jeff Kennedy, designated broker for Mountainside Real Estate. I've been a sugar loafer since 1984. I actually uh, came here as an intern out of Penn State. And I fell in love with the area and I've been here ever since. Well, I've actually been selling real estate for Sugarloaf since 1984. Um, and that, that just gives you a wealth of, of experience. Um, and we know the people, we know the owners here. I mean, I've been here, being here 40 years, you get to know everybody. We're on Main Street in the village, open seven days a week, uh, 8.30 to 5, come see us. We're back, and there it is, a beach shot there. What is that bright thing? They call that sunshine. Uh, 33 degrees starting the day off today. You, you got a little breeze here. Uh, you can see those flags going, but you can see the clouds moving up there. We'll uh, bring you more details. Captain Kip joins us. and. Uh, uh, what is that Dunkin' Donuts Jeep doing in your parking spot? That's what I want to know. Well, I, I purchased it, and, and with the purchase, I got a pound and a half of Dunkin' Coffee. Oh. That was a good deal. Good deal. Yeah, yeah. And, and 24 of those uh, Boston cream donuts here. Oh, eat, man. Oh, I love those. I can eat 10 or 12 at a sitting. Greg, it's in the 20s, mid-20s at the top. Uh, at the very top, they had gusts of 30. Uh, top of uh, Skyline, I'd say maybe 20. But um, it's quite firm coming down. You can imagine how hard it was to groom because it was so wet. Then the top sets up so they can go up, but it sets up so fast. And there's so much moisture, and it doesn't get that cold that underneath it, the snow is really soft. So, they have, you know, it comes out a little bit chunky. I came down Tote Road in a lot of loud turns. It's skiable. Loud turns, I wouldn't say icy, but loud turns all the way down. Uh, they're still grooming. I'm going to try uh, King's Landing. They're just getting off King's and, and Sluice, and, and then they're heading over toward Ramdown. That might be some of the best, but it's really hard to groom it. I mean, the chunks end up and so forth. Tote Road, not bad. They did a pretty good job with, uh, with Tote Road. But if, you, if you're a spring skier, mm -hmm. or, or, or this is your first time spring skiing, you know that the better skiing is later on. Sometimes in the mid, you know, midwinter, you want to get those first tracks. Not necessarily here with spring skiing. Let that crazy round thing we call the sun work on it a little bit and soften it, and I think you'll be happier. So my advice would be to, to stay right till 9 o'clock to see who's going to find a, a, a new pair of skis and then head up to the mountain. Because I think by 9.30, yeah, 9.30, 10 o'clock, the, the skiing will be better than it is right now. Uh, it's partly cloudy. We don't have a lot of sun going on it. And the wind is keeping things dry, I'd say 20 miles an hour. It's, it's mid-March up there. It's not um, April it's a little bit chilly and if you haven't got your uh, stuff for um, your memorabilia for reggae weekend they still have some shirts t-shirts over at the uh, at the sugar loafer shop oh go over there and there's still some great bargains going on at the downhill supply company and if this is your last day of skiing you know you can go over and talk to the folks downstairs there go and talk see Tom and what, what should I do to keep these skis from uh, you know rusting up or, or going bad over the summer, and they can put that, they can set you right up for it. So go down and see them if you need a tune-up. Go to uh, the Sugar Shack. It's unbelievable how many good pairs of skis they have up there. There are demos that are going at ridiculously low prices and that have maybe skied on once or twice. Oh, go up and see them. Guess if you're looking for a new pair of skis, now's the time to get them because they are basically, some of those are basically brand new, you know, very little use on them. 
and you get the demo binding so it's easy to fit right onto your boot. So that's it. Greg, that's all that's I got so far. I'll go back up and try King's Landing, see how they did on that, and, and, uh, and check in. And what, what time are you going to draw for those uh, skis, you think? About a Oh, right, right then. Yeah. Well, okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Towards the end, yeah, we have we have some great guests here on this morning. We don't we don't want to rush them, but uh, we are going to no. give those away. And uh, who knows? We got a lot of winners through the the whole course of um, the season. And of course, our season's not over because you know we always say last show, but uh, things continue here at WSKI. You know? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. The You'll live be show. your mountain bike out soon. Right. Right. And then you'll be out there pond scheming. Scheming? Did I say well, that? I did want to follow up from yesterday's conversation. Uh, you know, we still got time to raise some money if you'll take, if you'll conquer the pond uh, next week. Yeah, it will take a lot of money. <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> Brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company. And uh, thank you so much, Kip. And we'll get a report from him, see how it's softening up out there. He knows uh, these early morning mountain mornings, and uh, that's his advice. Today. You get to sleep late. Watch TV, turn it on, and uh, we've got some great show for you and lots of things to talk about, including indoor activities like at the anti-gravity complex right there, bottom of the access road, taking a right, another right. It's five miles an hour past the library. Just want to let you know. Sport and Fitness Center is open on Mountainside Road. They've got a cafe, and uh, they'll be closing for the season uh, after the 21st. Take a little vacay. You've got time now. Open daily, the Downhill Supply Company, with equipment tuning, repair, and massive sales right now. Speaking of sales, end of the season, Sugarloaf T-shirts and sweatshirts starting at just 5 bucks at the Maiden Main Shop down in Kingfield. Happy Tunes. Be good to your skis. Maybe you're looking for some. 40% off. That's right. And don't forget the tune-in store at Happy Tunes. Spillover Motel right there. Clean, affordable rooms, family-owned, and uh, some renovated, newly renovated rooms for you to enjoy. Steve Arner will join us here, and he is Western Main Law LLC, estate planning, starting a new business. Anything to do with legal, he can help you out. Close out skis at great prices on your way or on your way home. It is the Ski Depot. If you ain't on the edge, taking up too much room. Island Time E-Bike Rentals. Uh, well, uh, Ross Horn's going to join us here on the program this morning, and we're going to talk more about the e-bike tours that he offers. And uh, check out that website. If you haven't already, WSKITV.com, you'll find the quad cam. You'll find the still cam. And you'll find the portal to what's going on here and also... Follow us on those social medias, and now we're streaming, of course, uh, on Roku, on, we're streaming on YouTube, on our website, and on the good old Spectrum app, and on Channel 17, my recommendation, Roku. There it is. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back, talk to a ski patrol. We've got a full show today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. your fun at the Shipyard Brewhouse, a slopeside delight for skiers and snowboarders alike. We're serving up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So stop them before, after, or in between your runs. The beer's always flowing and the good times are rolling. So check our website for midweek specials and the live music schedule. I pray all day with cold brews and mountain views at the Shipyard Brewhouse. The Town of Carabasset Valley Summer Trail Crew is hiring for both experienced and new employees for this summer. The crew is responsible for building and maintaining the growing bicycle trail network in the region. Do you enjoy working outside? Do you have experience operating heavy equipment? Or do you participate in the sport of mountain biking and are looking to learn the skills and art of trail building with your own two hands? Well, we are looking for you. The town is an equal opportunity employer who provides competitive pay and flexible scheduling. Ideal candidates include recent high school or college grads, those with experience with small engine tools or heavy equipment, and those looking to begin or expand upon a growing career opportunity offered in the challenging forest economies of the Northeast region. Please visit the Recreation Department page on the town website at carabassetvalley.org for more information or to apply. We look forward to hearing from you. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, 
and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Fat Cove Financial, honest, independent, experienced. What's your favorite thing to eat here at the bag? The bag burger. Bag burger. You love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the Lifty Lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. All right, we're back. There's a great view of the responsibility code. I don't know if you can zoom in or not. You should have it memorized anyway. Elise does. She's up at the top of the hill, and there's another ski patrol hero heading up and keeping us safe today. Elise, tell us how you are today. I'm doing well, Greg. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for taking our call this morning. You know, with that caller ID, I don't always get an answer, but uh, you know, what, what's it looking like up there? A little breezy? A little breezy, but no wind holds at the moment. Awesome, awesome. Are pretty firm from the cool temp. Yeah, we could uh, see a little, you know, they did some grooming. What, what would be uh, your recommendation for a trail of the day? I think the best trail today is going to be King's Landing. That's getting groomed as we speak, so yep. a late groom will be nice and soft. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, and no wind holds, that's a great thing. And yes. hopefully you've had a chance to enjoy a little bit of reggae this weekend, or did you work all weekend? I've been out of town, so. Oh, out of town. Well, welcome back, and we appreciate it. And what's the temp up there, Elise? Do you know? Um, I think it's around 23 right now at TOS. Okay, well, it's gone up a degree since the captain made it down. We like it. Well, thank you, Elise. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for what you do, and happy reggae to you. Thank you, and we just wanted to say congratulations to Captain Kip on his last show today. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not accepting it yet. I'm in denial, and 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 hopefully he is too. But thank you, Elise. We appreciate it, and we love the captain as well as many of our viewers do. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there you have it. And we're gonna take a look at some things to eat this morning because that's one of the things that we do in the morning: eat. And uh, we have coffee. Usually, when I have coffee, it's Carabasa coffee too. And uh, it's available right there at Java Joe's. It's 33 degrees here this morning. The Rack has got breakfast at the Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack. They have been holding uh, their own there. It's 7 till 11, and uh, you can get your breakfast sandwich parked down there as well. Carabasa Coffee available, homemade goodies. And Delis, they've got some breakfast for you, a hearty breakfast, four different ways to order. Get in, get out. Delis, it's all about the bread. And look at that. We just want to just put it this in big font. Sundays, 11 o'clock, it is a brunch at uh, the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Reggae Fest continues. Doug Morgan at the Shipyard Brew House. And you go in and try some of their great brews. They're going to, you know, they'll be closing soon. You can help them drink it. And at Bowickles, they are open. They've got the fair and uh, they've got great food as well. And uh, you've got Blackout and a Black Eclipse shirts are available at the bag and cheeseburger soup today. What a combo. And uh, at the uh, Widowmaker, you got your great local micro brews and some reggae happening there today. First produce more great selection of liquor, mountainside groceries. And uh, you, look, the Sugar Bowl is indoor activities galore. They've got an open mic on Thursday, they got special each and every day. Check it out. Good food, good fun. Flagstaff General Store is open with online ordering now at flagstaffjournal.com. You can check out their menu. And the Looney Moose, incredible homemade goodies and more. Check them out there on Main Street in Stratton, the Looney Moose Cafe. Farter's Market is open today with full complement. They always have chili, remember that, and they have hardware on Sundays. Check it out. Main Street, Stratton. Down the street, you'll find the White Wolf Inn. Not your ordinary fare. It is delicious, and uh, it's home cooking and a home feel. And Trails End. They've got the party going on all the time right there. The Trails End Steakhouse is where the fun begins. And at the website, WSKITV.com, that's right, you'll find great information as well and streaming live. And uh, it is Reggae Weekend. Hope you are enjoying it today with the sunshine today. It is truly uh, a little bit better than yesterday. We got a little fog, a little wind, but we're going to conquer. We'll be right back in just a moment. And we have uh, some ladies from Western Maine 
child care uh, joining us. It's the Green Lion. Well, you don't know. Big up yourself. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day. Enjoying the last day of reggae and some hopefully spring conditions out there on the hill. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find at our website, WSKI. TV.com, including much more. A mix of sun and clouds for today. We should see base temperatures warming up into the upper 40s. A west wind uh, noticeable, especially this morning down around the base, and 41 to 43 at the summit with some noticeable breezes up, to up, up top as well. So that breeze forecasted to be uh, strong in the morning, but that should die down as the sun comes up. 47 to 49 at the base for Monday with a west-northwest wind still elevated a bit, and summit temperatures getting into the 40s with sunshine. Uh, for most of the day. Could see a p.m. shower on Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday look like sunny days, getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Thursday should start out great, and then some showers in the afternoon come into the picture uh, with a high temperature, still warm, around 53 degrees. As far as your trail report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors, 131 trails to ski and ride on, 11 lifts, getting you to 47 groom trails. Spring conditions out there, Burt Mountain, Bracket Basin, that's all closed up. Uh, so take note of that. Uh, I want to stay on the groom terrain first thing this morning. It's 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lines. Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area at 8.30. And then Skyline, Double Runner, and Super Quad get going at 8.30 as well. And 8 o'clock, last day for West Mountain proper. And Bucksaw Express gets going at 8.30 as well. King Pine and Wiffle Tree, those service the east side lifts. That'll be the last day for those lifts. Uh, Wiffle Tree during the week. It'll be open back up next weekend. And then Timberline, the uppermost lift, gets going at 9 a.m. as well. As far as grooming, they hope to get out to Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Sluice on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, West Mountain, and Horseshoe, as well as all the newer trails over off the Bucksaw Express. On the east side, up high, Hallback and Ramdown, down low, Wiffle Tree, Two Hall, and Slasher, and all the trails around the base area groomed out as normal, and the terrain park's getting work as well. If you're looking for some indoor activity or some summer uh, employment, check out the Anti-Gravity Complex located right at the bottom of the Axis Road or get a hold of the town uh, for those employment opportunities. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center as well. You'll be see their uh, updated hours there. And the Sugarloaf Institution, we call it the Bag and Kettle. Check it out today for some cheeseburger soup on special. Right in Village Center. Happy Tunes as well. Great deals, up to 40% off on skis and whatnot. And the Tune and Store... Uh, program is happening as well a great spot to put your skis to sleep for the summer end of season sale kingfield made in main shop right on main street so if you're headed south be sure to stop by there some great deals and also great deals at ski depot you can find them on route 4 and j or ski-depot.com or raceskis.com and the quad cam check it out year round so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time and we want to let you know we'll be giving away those amalgam skis we're drawing for the Amalgam Skis, and then we'll get in touch with them, and they'll make you up a custom order. Last live show is this morning, but we are here year-round, full-time. We don't go anywhere, so be sure to keep in touch with us. We're also streaming, so you can watch us year-round as well, so you can know before you go. Enjoy it, folks. Hello, I'm Earl Morris, owner of Birchwood Interiors. For 31 years, we've been providing you, our fellow sugar loafers, with furniture, flooring, mattresses, and window treatments. But what many sugar loafers don't realize is the amount of construction and new renovation work that we do. From fireplaces to kitchens to bathrooms and steam showers, we do anything inside the walls of a house. We love what we do and hope you'll shop locally with us. There he is, right there uh, on, on the WSKI headwall. Captain Kip Files, as you can see, he prepares his high-tech equipment. He's got his uh, piece of yarn that goes through it, that ties his mittens so he doesn't lose them. He's got his helmet on. He's looking good form. 
and uh, Mountainside Real Estate bringing you this live quad cam shot on this reggae week in 34 degrees and Western Maine Center for Children is here. You know, I haven't got that right once. You just did. Well, I did. I read it off the shirt, though. <laughs> yeah. And for some reason, Western Maine Center for Children. And I promise I'm not going to get it wrong again. And uh, they're going to join us here. Well, they're already here, but first we're going to get a call from Captain... It's like magic. Would you like some pistachios? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good morning, watch you win. Oh, wow. The what answer the is um, pie times four. Uh, well, it could be. And, you know, we just want, always like to let you know you're live. And uh, not that you would ever say anything that wouldn't be worthy of the air, but uh, that welcome. has never happened. No, not yet. No. 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 <laughs> Good morning, Kev. What's going on out there? How you, well, how's you, the you know, they're still grooming out kings right now. They have a, they have a cable on it, so I didn't go. So I I, I went down um, hay burner, and that was in really good shape. They covered up a couple of the spots from yesterday, farmed some snow in it. It was a little bit softer than Tote Road. So if you have to get out before nine o'clock, uh, and you want to run out, that that would be my pick so far. It was in really. I, I was really impressed how soft that snow was in there. Oh, that's a good one. It's just going to get better. The sun's going to get on it. It, it. It's partly cloudy here, so we don't get full sunlight. But even that little bit of sun when I was coming down, you can start to feel it um, soften. It, it'll, it, it won't be. It doesn't take long with the sun being this high up. Oh, it's good skiing. A little chilly at the top. I got to tell you. I, you know, I wish I had some mittens on when I was at the top. But right now, it's. Uh, you know, from from super quad down, it's, it's it's great. It's good. It's comfortable. It's good. It's not shorts and t-shirts quite yet, but maybe later on this afternoon. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's always one, isn't there? Yeah, well, there's always one. We hope for one or two. Yes. Yeah, we like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, thank you, yeah. Kip. We appreciate that. Where are you heading now? Uh, uh, back up the mountain, Greg. I don't know. I might try sluice if the uh, if the groomers are off it. It's, yeah, I'm kind of uh, in and out because of the, because the groomers are uh, holding off. I'll try and get over maybe toward um, toward uh, West Mountain, that area, see what's going on. I heard there was a lot of carnage still on the ground at Bullwinkles, which I'm shocked at. I, you know, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right. Well Right. All right, Kip, we appreciate it. Thank you. We'll get another report from Captain Kip coming up and brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company. And that's it. That's it, indeed. And uh, oh, we, we have the uh, ladies from Western Maine Center for Children. I got it right twice in a row. I'm pretty, feeling pretty good. And, you know, he's talking about winter and we've got sunshine. And before we, then next comes mud season and then summer. And you're here to talk about summer programs. The, are they really called the Marsha White Summer Programs? Yes, we do a four-year-old program yeah. named after Marsha White. Yeah. Um, and so that runs for seven weeks yeah. in July. Um, and so we do all of Marsha's favorite things. Uh, we do a lot of wall sits. You don't know how to do a wall sit? What? I don't you think so. You're going to demonstrate? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's kind of a... Huh. Wow. You can sit down anywhere. You don't See? need chairs. Did, did you, where did you train for that? Summer camp. Summer camp. Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> anywhere there's a wall. Yeah. Wall sits. Yeah. The elevator in Gandhi. She used to do wall sits. I for, did. I did yeah. wall sits. Wow. Interesting. Anyway. That's just one of the exciting programs. <laughs> 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 All right, kids. Uh, wall <laughs> sit. Did they cheer? Any outside. Any outside. Any, outside. Anything outside. Anything outside. Anything outside. And of course, there's a lot of things to do out there that grow, right? Grow some vegetables. Yes, so we're going to be working on our garden this year. So we're going to be redoing our playground and our garden area. Um, we got a grant from sh the Sugarloaf Charitable Trust, and then the nice. Carabasa Valley Recreation Endowment matched that for us. Um, so that's going to be a huge improvement for our summer program. What kind of things are you going to do with it? Um, we're going to put a new slide in. We're going to resurface our hill, do a new bike path, a new sandbox. A new sandbox. Yes, a shed, so we'll be able to store our sleds and our bikes when they're not in use, our strollers. So that's going to make a huge... Teach everyone good habits. Yes. Put away your toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long is nap time? Uh, you know, it depends on the day. It depends on the sometimes day? Sometimes a few hours, sometimes 20 minutes. So. Depends on if they're cranky or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they're tired. It lasts longer during the summer program. They're extra sleepy. 
Interesting. Um, so they're outside. And well, you wear them out. them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, <laughs> who, who can take advantage of these great uh, programs. Anybody. So this summer for those seven weeks, it's open to local residents. It's open to taxpayers, area guests, and registration ends April 30th. April 30th. And you go to the website to do that. Yes. And oh, so look. under our programs, under the Our Programs tab, is the registration form for that. Yeah. So right there at the top. And then it takes two seconds. You choose your pizza toppings of what you would like for weeks. Um, and then that'll come through to us. Tough decisions. Yeah, right. Oh, no, what am I going to have with my pizza? <laughs> now, was that mm -hmm. the old slide that we just saw in the picture? Yes. Yeah, the blue mm -hmm. one? Yeah. Yeah, yep. it needs an upgrade, doesn't it? Yeah, they want rainbow. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll get it <laughs> because yep. they're determined. Uh, what a great service for, for uh, everyone around here, of course. Uh, it's, it can be quite expensive for uh, child care. And what does it cost uh, a taxpayer for child care? Uh, for a taxpayer, it's two twenty for a week. For the whole week? For the, for the whole week, Monday yeah. through Thursday. Yeah. And that's uh, uh, very affordable, and they yes. get to do great things. And it includes a swim lesson. Um, so we're still trying to figure that out. It will do a swim lesson at the town park. They'll have their camp day there on Tuesdays. And then Thursdays, they're at the outdoor center. So they get to go on a hike or a little strider mountain bike, whatever they feel like doing that day. So it's not just at right. our campus. You visit some of the fine mm -hmm. places around. And uh, Marsha, th th did you actually start this program? And when did you start it? No, Katie started it. Katie started and just named it Last after year. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We well, hang around long enough and they feel obligated to. I've name heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think it's great for the kids down there. And uh, it's good that people recognize that it's a, a great resource. And uh, what's the limit? How many kids can you have? Uh, it's still kind of in the works. We can take 20 kids at Western Maine Center for Children in total. Mm -hmm. um, so our numbers go down naturally inside, and so we're able to supplement that with however many kids come. But it's kind of, we've taken the four-year-olds from Outdoor Adventure Camp, mm -hmm. um, so it's more age-appropriate for them. They get to go inside to the air conditioning. We have smaller ratios. They get to go to the story for the library for story time. Oh. Um, and so then we prep them, and then they go on to the yellow team at Outdoor Adventure Camp. What's their favorite book? Do they have a favorite book? Well, uh, well so currently it's Skippy John Jones. Oh. What's it's, your it's not the Marsha White book? You I'm know, not that one was a favorite in the beginning of the winter. <laughs> yeah. It circulates. Yeah. yeah. And uh, story time, always a good time. And it's right there at the Carabazza Valley Public Library. What did we do before that? Where was uh, Western Maine Center for Children before it was at the library? It's always been at the library. Well, before the library. We had a, Everywhere. Employee, an employee program that was part of the mountain. Yeah. It was a branch of the child care program up here in the mountain. Yep. Yeah. And then I was, it, it is uh, legendary down there at the bottom it's, of the access It's its road. own nonprofit now, so it's much more um, able to do what we need to do when we want to do it and where you know, we can get grants and things like that, which we weren't eligible before. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And now you can have a new rainbow slide. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> it really is a challenge. <laughs> I'm sure we can find one. If you're watching and you have access to a rainbow slide, please contact them at westernmainkids.org. That's the website where it all starts. Well, yeah. thank you, lady. Happy reggae to you. Happy reggae to you. I, I hope you are enjoying the festivities. I know you got to like a reggae shirt on. A winter well, that's why I picked shirt. it this morning. I thought yeah. it was... In tune with the weekend. Absolutely. And yesterday I wore a wetsuit because I thought that was in tune for the, uh, <laughs> yeah. for the weekend. But, you know, looking good today. Thank you so much yeah. for joining Thank us. We so appreciate much. it. Thank you. And uh, nice to see you both. We will take a break. We'll be right back with more. The floor you choose can be more than just beautiful, it can also make a difference. By being environmentally sustainable and better for the planet, it can last longer and be cleaner and healthier for your home. We care about the same things you do, which is why at Allwood Floors we only use responsibly sourced real hardwood and bamboo. And because we know the floor you choose can make a difference. Allwood is available exclusively to this region here at Jordan Lumber. Please come down and see what we have. Ask for myself, Brian, or Alyssa. Thank you. 
Welcome to the Main Ski and Snowboard Museum, great location right here on the Access Road at Sugarloaf. Come on by, our mission statement is to celebrate, preserve, and share the history and heritage of Main Skiing and Snowboarding, and that's what we're trying to do. Check the website, mainskiingandsnowboardmuseum.org for more information. The phone number is on there, you can call, set up a time if you want, or you can come down when, when we're open. Hope to see you soon. Ski in, ski out at Sugarloaf Inn for unmatched on mountain convenience. Boot up in the comfort of your room, head down to your private ski locker, and you'll be on the chairlift in no time. After you spend your day making turns at the loaf, head back to the inn for our prey. With the shipyard brew house on site to serve you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll be fueled up throughout your stay. See you soon for your slopeside stay. The Sugarloaf Golf Club, celebrating 30 years as Maine's premier golf destination. Sugarloaf offers majestic views, a pristine alpine environment, and a golf experience unlike any other. Save as much as 40% when you reserve your tee time online at Sugarloaf.com. Sugarloaf, more than a round, an experience. Located in Village West, the Sugarloafer Shop supports the iconic Sugarloaf Triangle that is one of the most recognizable logos in the world. Founded on the traditional logo t-shirt and now offering everything from high-end fashion items, home decor and logo hats, to bathing suits, children's clothes, Under Armour product lines and original artwork and photography by local artists, the Sugarloafer Shop is your one stop for everything logo wear. Stop in and grab some loaf gear today. We're back, happy reggae, and looking like uh, the clouds are staying right above the peak. Like we've got some good visibility today. We've got some chunky snow. It's gonna melt, 34 degrees. Temperatures are on the rise. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot. Happy reggae to you, everyone, and thanks for watching. And uh, we are here to talk uh, a little bit with uh, Marty and Ross about uh, Island Time e-bikes and tours and uh, I, I, you're, you all reggae fested out. Congratulations. Uh, happy yeah, reggae right, to yeah. you, huh? Marty works at the Sugarloafer shop, so we have an inside connection. Yes. <laughs> you tried to help me one day while I was there. Oh, I did? Yeah, oh, you were oh. very helpful. I just didn't know what I wanted. <laughs> but it was nice of you to ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, when does your season start at, at Island Time? Well, we're opening the 18th, so just in a few days from now. But. Uh, we really don't pick up until uh, around mid-May we start getting busy, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because a good part of the park is closed until mid-May for mud season. Right. So uh, it does limit the amount of riding available yeah. uh, in the park. Not a, not a big fan of the mud? I don't mind it, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not in charge. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in charge, right? So tell us about some of the tours that you have, where you go, where you like to go. Yeah, so our most popular one is uh, the carriage roads. Uh, carriage roads are about 45 miles of trails uh, that are all connected in the, in the Acadia National Park. And uh, so we're gonna, we have up to 10 people on a tour. Marty's one of the tour guides. Uh, and uh, we're gonna try to do two, two tours a day this year. So up to 20 people out on the tour and then we also have people that just go out on their own with no tour guide mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that's uh, there are situations where some people shouldn't be out in the forest all by themselves uh, <laughs> that's yeah. a that's a very nice they're way of visiting it. <laughs> they're out visiting from their yeah. you know wherever city life yes yeah you don't have to go out looking for them <laughs> yeah Oh, we have a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, for sure. it's nice to know that uh, you, you have tours available for those folks that uh, that, that need a little bit of direction. Uh, you must uh, stay in shape all summer long. Huh? You get to ride every day, huh, Marty? Mm, absolutely. Every day? Are you open every day? Uh, seven days, yeah. Seven days Throughout a week. The, until November, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so there's a couple of great tours there, and you can rent the bike by yourself as well. 
which is nice. Mm. And uh, what's the website? It's at islandtimebike.com. That's where you find and make uh, reservations. Island Time E, the e-bike. They forgot to put Island the e-bike. Island Time e-bike, right? There's a oh, little yeah, extra e in yeah, there. Down yeah. bottom, yeah. yeah. You got that right. Quite commonly confused. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Getting the e. Yeah. Now, yeah. can they call you on the phone to make reservations too? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier online, but some people just, uh, you know, they're not online people. So, right. yeah, just give us a call. Now, how about, um, like, uh, groups, like a corporate group or, uh, or a club? Do you have many of those organizations that reserve and take uh, tours? I think our biggest group last year was, like, 29 in one group. Yeah. And that was actually a, a ski club from out west, and they had come here for a summer event. Oh. Uh, so they had all stayed in the same hotel, and like one day they kayaked, one day they biked, one day they hiked. So uh, that was a ski club event uh, out west. I don't remember what mountain it was, but... I don't either. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, uh, I, I would think, a good team-building type of a, a, an organization. And what's your favorite part about uh, touring with the different people? Meeting all the people yeah. and getting to talk to them about the park and my passion for it. Yeah. What's your favorite spot in the park where you go? Uh, probably one of the bridges that I take near uh, Jordan Pond House. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, I tumbled across it by accident, really. And you didn't tumble I'm across it, did you? <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And it's narrow trails getting down there, but once we're there, people are just in awe of the bridge. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of the first bridges to be built, and uh, it's, it's stunning. All of the bridges are. They're all very unique. It is a beautiful area. You don't have to keep it a secret. It's the cobblestone bridge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, it's the most <laughs> right? photographed bridge in, in the park. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask about photos. I mean, yeah, there must be people, tourists and things of that, that want to stop. And, and, oh, and there yes. must be a lot of wildlife, too, that you run into. Mm, no? No, not really. No? You don't see any, <laughs> any wildlife at all? No, I mean, we've come across some deer, because obviously there's no hunting on the island. Yeah. So we've come across deer. But, I mean, with so many people in the park, I think most of it is mm -hmm. scared away. Yeah. Yeah. There is a there is a lot of deer in certain yeah. parts of the park. Yeah. Uh, and they're almost tame. Like you can you can get probably twenty yards away <clears throat> before they'll then they'll just kind of walk off. You know, yeah. they're, they're kind of tame because there's they so many hunted. people around and there's no hunting. Yeah. yeah. They've never been hunted. And yet. I'm sure people feed them. Uh, I don't know I don't, if they do or yeah, not. Yeah. You don't. You're not supposed to in the. You're park. not supposed yeah. to, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's not a good practice in there. Uh, mm -hmm. Island Time Bikes, islandtimeebike.com is the web address. And uh, what's your busiest time of the year uh, once you get started? Yeah, uh, Memorial, right through uh, Indigenous Day. We're right out straight. And those are the times that you want to make reservations ahead of time. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate it. It must be fun uh, uh, meeting all the people. And e-bikes are fun. It, it's like last time you were on, you explained the two different types of e-bikes that there are. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could clarify that again because I think it's great information. Yeah, sure. Uh, so class one e-bikes, uh, they're pedal assisted up to 20 miles an hour. Yeah. So you have to pedal for them to, to operate. Uh, and uh, up here in Carabasa Valley, uh, at the outdoor center, you can use a Class 1 e-bike, but uh, across the river on the narrow gauge, uh, it's no motorized bikes at all. So uh, the park down in uh, Katy is the same way. Part of the park's Class 1, and part of the park uh, has different rules. Class 2 has a throttle. also goes 20 miles an hour, and you can pedal it. And then the Class 3 bike goes 28 miles an hour. That's a cap, 28. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 28. Yeah. Do you see that, in your opinion, changing? Because it's kind of a new technology. I mean, it is motorized, but it doesn't make noise. It doesn't create. <clears throat> changing as far as the rules? Yeah, or the... the rules of where you can e-bike. Do, th do you see that yeah, changing in the future? Um, I guess in the future, I think more and more people will be on e-bikes. Yeah. Uh, especially <clears throat> as, you know, we get older. Uh, you, 
at some point you're going to switch over to an e-bike probably yeah. um so i think uh places will start getting more used to having e-bikes mm -hmm. uh and uh i think the class one rule is a good one yeah because it does kind of you know gives you some help but not too much right uh, yeah, you're still getting quite a workout. I think people have a misnomer about that, that they automatically assume there's going to be a throttle on it. Yeah. And the Class 1 bikes that we have, I mean, you still have a good workout. Yeah, yeah. The one that I rode, it was still a workout, but you just go faster. Yes. That's great. Yeah. yeah, you cover a lot more ground. Uh, it's effortless. Yeah. It makes it effortless. Effortless. Well, give it a try, everyone. Mm. Uh, head on up there and check it out. Check out the website, reserve, and uh, bring the family up. Take the tour. Thank All you right, so much. You Happy reggae to you guys. You too. And, and thanks for your help over at the outdoor, at My the, uh, <laughs> at the uh, downhill supply company. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break and we'll be back in just a moment. WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day, enjoying the last day of reggae and some hopefully spring conditions out there on the hill. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find at our website, WSKI. TV.com, including much more. A mix of sun and clouds for today. We should see base temperatures warming up into the upper 40s. A west wind uh, noticeable, especially this morning down around the base, and 41 to 43 at the summit with some noticeable breezes up, to up top as well. So that breeze forecasted to be uh, strong in the morning, but that should die down as the sun comes up. 47 to 49 at the base for Monday with a west-northwest wind still elevated a bit, and summit temperatures getting into the 40s with sunshine. Uh, for most of the day. Could see a p.m. shower on Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday look like sunny days, getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Thursday should start out great, and then some showers in the afternoon come into the picture uh, with a high temperature, still warm, around 53 degrees. As far as your trail report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors, 131 trails to ski and ride on, 11 lifts, getting you to 47 groom trails. Spring conditions out there, Burt Mountain, Bracket Basin, that's all closed up. Uh, so take note of that. Uh, I want to stay on the groom terrain first thing this morning. It's 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area at 8.30. And then Skyline, Double Runner, and Super Quad get going at 8.30 as well. And 8 o'clock, last day for West Mountain proper. And Bucksaw Express gets going at 8.30 as well. King Pine and Whiffletree, those service the east side lifts. That'll be the last day for those lifts. Uh, Whiffletree during the week. It'll be open back up next weekend. And then Timberline, the uppermost lift, gets going at 9 a.m. as well. As far as grooming, they hope to get out to Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Sluice on the west side, Scoot Windrow, West Mountain, and Horseshoe, as well as all the newer trails over off the Bucksaw Express. On the east side, up high, Hallback and Ramdown, down low, Whiffletree, Two Hall, and Slasher, and all the trails around the base area groomed out as normal, and the terrain park's getting work as well. If you're looking for some indoor activity or some summer uh, employment, check out the Anti-Gravity Complex located right at the bottom of the Axis Road or get a hold of the town uh, for those employment opportunities. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center as well. You'll be see their uh, updated hours there. And the Sugarloaf Institution, we call it the Bag and Kettle. Check it out today for some cheeseburger soup on special. Right in Village Center. Happy Tunes as well. Great deals, up to 40% off on skis and whatnot. And the Tune and Store... Uh, program is happening as well a great spot to put your skis to sleep for the summer end of season sale kingfield maiden main shop right on main street so if you're headed south be sure to stop by there some great deals and also great deals at ski depot you can find them on route 4 and j or ski-depot.com or raceskis.com and the quad cam check it out year round so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time and we want to let you know we'll be giving away those amalgam skis we're drawing for the Amalgam Skis, and then we'll get in touch with them, and they'll make you up a custom order. Last live show is this morning, but we are here year-round, full-time. We don't go anywhere, so be sure to keep in touch with us. We're also streaming, so you can watch us year-round as well, so you can know before you go. Enjoy it, folks. Hi, I'm Deb Pierce. I've been a sugar loafer since 1975. My style is really low pressure. 
um, and nurturing. I like helping people through the whole process, make them feel comfortable. Um, I'm a good listener. This market is crazier than I've ever seen. So if you're looking to buy or sell, please come see me here right in the village. Um, we're here every day, nine to five. <laughs> Kip is joining us. He's been there for half an hour and uh, waiting for us to go to him. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's worth waiting for, Kip. Well, I do my best work during the breaks. <laughs> That's what I really shine. Hey, Greg, you know, I was pleasantly surprised coming down narrow gauge. I, I still couldn't get to the east or west because I got cables out and so forth. So I'm just doing the meat in the mountain. They're still, they're still working on King's Landing. Oh, that could be a good one, first thing. But uh, narrow gauge, I was I was quite impressed how soft that snow was coming down. Now, to get down there, the head wall has not been groomed. Um, crib works has, so don't make the mistake of going down the head wall because uh, you'll regret that. But if you go down the crib works, it was great all the way down. It's, it's a little firmer on the bottom. You kind of expect that. They groomed that first, and it's had a chance to freeze up. But, oh, the hay burner and... Um, and narrow gauge were in pretty good shape. It's, it's you know, if you're, you want to come out and uh, before nine o'clock, uh, head right out. Those, those are the ones I'd hit. Hey, if you got a second, Greg, you know this is my, uh, this is our last show for the, uh, for the first tracks for Kip, um, this season. And uh, I just wanted to thank all, all the folks. Um, they gave me uh, good wishes throughout the years, you know, for the reporting and what they liked. They, well, thank you so much. And, and uh, of course. Uh, you and Andy, who made me a uh, better reporter than I could have been, or should have been. <laughs> I don't know. One of them, Nadine and, and, and Jeff, and, and, of course, the Downhill Supply Company. They're awfully kind to me. And, and Sugarloaf, going into John Diller's office and saying, this has stuff. we should have somebody outside. Isn't that a great idea? And he looked at me and said, yes. Oh. I'd given him a lot of ideas, and that's the only one he really looked at me and said, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thanks a lot. I, I'm going to try and make it in for the drawing if I can, but I just wanted to thank everybody. Uh, you, you got a lot of fans out there, and, uh, and I'm certainly one of them, and it, what a joy it is to, to be able to work with you and have someone that is, uh, you know, every day is not a perfect day when you're First Tracks reporter, <laughs> and uh, nobody has, uh, the commitment is, is huge, and it's going to be very difficult to fill those electric socks. <laughs> Aren't you kind? Aren't you kind there, Greg? Yeah, I tried to be honest in my, in my own way, you know. Uh, people sort of figured it out. <laughs> well, you know, loud turns and, and, and mittens and, uh, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, it's been a hoot, and I really want to thank you guys. Could you just, could you say it's worth coming out? It's worth it's coming out. <laughs> Gosh. Well, thank you, Kip. We appreciate it. Oh, and yeah. You know what? We haven't seen the last of you. I, oh, no. I'll be around. I'm not going anywhere far. Yeah. I can't. I really. This, you know, people ask me how I got to do this, and I said, I don't really think I could do anything else. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll be around. Made, made the first tracks what it is, Cap. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. it. Set the, right, I well, set the bar pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kip. We hope you okay, can enjoy us for the drawing. We appreciate it. There you have it, Captain Kip, and uh, First Tracks Reporting with Captain Kip. And uh, it's going to be tough socks to fill. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA. The perfect choice every time. Back Co. Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. 
We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Fatco Financial, honest, independent, experienced. All right, we are back. It is uh, the Mountain Report, and it is reggae weekend, and we are looking at 36 degrees, and that is the current temp, and Captain has given you the conditions out there. It's going to soften up as the day continues, Mountainside Real Estate, bringing you this live quad cam shot, and, you know, as spring has sprung, it will be time for all these great summertime activities, and... Um, Felix, our friend Felix, uphill champion, by the way, joining us here. Felix, how are you, my hey, friend? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Yeah. And uh, always a pleasure. You're always you're always active. You're always doing something, uh, whether you're participating in an event or running an event, and uh, you do both. Exactly. And in one month, uh, we're going to see each other for the um, Sugarloaf Marathon. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and uh, with my wife, like uh, last year, we wanna, we're going to run uh, the 15k. Yeah. Yeah, from um, the airport of Sugarloaf. Last year, my wife won the race. Yes, she did. And uh, it was uh, such a beautiful day, so we're going to come back in one month. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, didn't she also in the uphill climb place in one of the categories? Yeah, this is for the Xterra. Yeah. So it will be at the end of uh, August. The Xterra. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we will do the world championship there. Also. You're going to do it again? Yeah. So my wife finished seven at the World Championship la last year, and I won the Hop Hill yes, Sugarloaf, uh, and we're gonna come back in September for this event. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Felix, you you, you put together help uh, with your team, put together a lot of events, and uh, one that you just uh, graciously gave us some uh, socks, souvenir socks, the Mount Washington Marathon, huh? Exactly. Huh? So it's going to be the 19th of October. It's uh, the um, Mount Washington Marathon. Yeah. It's one of the fastest road marathon in the East Coast. So it's mostly downhill uh, from the Cog Railway at the bottom of the Mount Washington. And uh, it's finished at the Atitash Mountain Village. So it's a qualifier for Boston and uh, New it York is. Marathon. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So this is will close uh, our season uh, in October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, the international race that you have, which is very yeah. unique. Yeah, it's going to be one week uh, before the Xterra World Championship. It's the 25 October, uh, 20, 25 August. So at the end of the summer, uh, we're going to um, start at Impiopolis, uh, so we're going to cross the lake uh, 2K, 2K, and after we're going to um, do uh, cycling, uh, 90K of cycling. It's a half uh, Ironman distance, uh, so uh, we're going to finish in uh, the Sugar Bowl and uh, run on the, um, the narrow gauge pathway, the half marathon. And in, at the same date, uh, in the same day, um, we're going to have the half uh, marathon of Carabasset Valley. Mm -hmm. So the start is at the Sugar Bowl and uh, is doing the, the narrow gauge pathway back and forth and finish uh, at the Sugar Bowl where we're going to have after party, after meal, after run meal. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, you have all the information of the, uh, on the website. So it's going to be the second year of this event. And the half marathon, uh, we raised funds for the Adaptive Outdoor Sugarloaf Center. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. A and uh, this is, look at the, the great scenery you get to take advantage of. and So beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, one of the more most beautiful uh, triathlon in Quebec and Maine. And also we have purse for the, the big winner. And it's, uh, it's one of the biggest purse uh, in triathlon uh, in Maine and Quebec uh, also. Oh, it is? Yeah. Huh. And, it, uh, you know, it seems odd. It seems like people have a passion for running. They don't do it 
But it's great to have a prize, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it's uh, so much hard work, and for the people who who's uh, win winning, it's very important to uh, give it give, give back to them. Yeah, right. because it's so so implication and hard work. So we're gonna have purse for the, for them. Yeah. Now, what year is this for this one? This, it's the second year. The second year. Yeah. This is the second year. Mm -hmm. uh, and last year we have like uh, 100 people on the half marathon distance uh, and uh, the half um, Ironman distance also. So uh, this year we are waiting for a little bit more than this. So yeah. more than 100 people. Every year it builds. Yeah. yeah. Is that one a qualifier too or it's not? The half, mar the half Ironman, uh, it's not a qualifier because yeah. it's not in the, a brand, you know. Uh, it's a uh, it's a championship by itself, mm -hmm. but for the half marathon, it's going to be a qualifier for the New York marathon. Oh, yeah, fantastic! Now, do you ever participate in the New York or, or any of those other marathons? Do you have time? Not the the world the biggest marathon because it's uh, I'm I'm living in the in the country right now. But before I was living in in town, and I, I didn't want to do uh, like a marathon in town. So maybe next year or the year after Boston Marathon is going to be okay. But I, I'm already a qualifier for this. Sure. So, so it's just I, I didn't go. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice place to uh, have a party because it's uh, going to be this Monday, eh, the Boston Marathon. Yeah, that's and, right. And uh, like it's uh, 3,100 uh, people is going to run in Boston. So yeah. it's, a nice, uh, it's a nice race. That's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Well, the marathon is, is quite large, too, and uh, I don't know how many people we have participate, but it's, it's, a, it's a fair amount yeah. um, and for the marathon, and that is in, uh, for the Sugarloaf Marathon, is, is in May. And uh, so do you train year-round? Yeah, always uh, skiing, uh, playing with the child. Uh, we, in in Pupolis, we have a, an indoor pool uh, in my clinic, so uh, we have a, a very a nice setup. Uh, it's an indoor training center. Yeah. in Pupolis, just uh, 40 minutes from here, and it's, uh, it's beautiful. Right now we are training like uh, most people, uh, lots of people, but there is one, um, one girl who will cross the Atlantic Ocean next December, mm -hmm. so uh, she's training a lot in, her, in facilities. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's great, and we have a brand new race also in Sherbrooke, uh, the 3 of August, it's the Sherbrooke Marathon, night light so it's going to be in the night with the um, all the light of the of the wow. town yeah and it's going to be like cool not too hot so for having a good uh, good time in the marathon and we have different distance like 3.5 7k uh, 40k and the half marathon also uh, huh. yeah and sure and sure i is that something I, i've never heard of a nighttime yeah, it's very rare because it's for like the, the security also, but there's light all around the, this lake yeah. and uh, there's no traffic. Um, it's going to be loop of 2.5. So it's, it's, uh, it's unique. Uh, it's a con uh, uh, first concept like this. Yeah. And it's going to be fun and with musician and uh, animation. So uh, yeah, it's a great race. Uh, the 3 August in, in Sherbrooke, it's not too far from here. Yeah. It's not that far, yeah. and it's um, it's a this is a family welcome event. Right? Exactly, That's we the we thing. always want a family event because uh, we want to in, include uh, the uh, the children, and it's very important because it's going to be uh, the next runner, the next best runner. We've met some extraordinary young yeah. uh, runners here uh, from yeah, no, eh? yeah, what a mm. great uh, he is a sharp little yeah, kid. He, he really was. He, he was, will do. Uh, the world championship uh, this year also here in Sugarloaf yeah. and uh, Friday he helped us to do uh, a conference we um, we had like uh, people from Cameroon uh, to heard about uh, how uh, we organize a sport event so we gave them tricks and uh, we will go uh, to Cameroon uh, to help them building uh, their sport event there also yeah, yeah. So he, uh, Noah helped us uh, to do the, the conference. He's really nice. You're a busy guy. Yeah, <laughs> always. But uh, we're gonna, it's Sunday, so after the, uh, this uh, w wonderful moment with you, 
We're gonna go to the fitness pool center with the children, just uh, just here in Sugarloaf. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect for for the child, and you you have a big day for the Riga Fest, eh? Yes, indeed. Mm. Yes, indeed. Felix, always a pleasure to see you, my friend, yeah. and love what you do. And the triathlon Piopolis uh, is uh, is coming up. To give us a date one more time. Yeah, it's the. 24 August in Piopolis and the 25 August is the big event uh, that will cross uh, the two countries, the first triathlon in the world to cross two countries and uh, the, the main purpose of this race is uh, to unite uh, the two regions, the two countries uh, with, uh, with, one, uh, with one event like this uh, to bring people together. Bringing people together. Yeah. Awesome, Felix. Thank you so much. for appreciate it. Day. And you have, uh, the. I hear the water is fine down there. So you can do some laps down there. Yeah, for available. sure. Yeah. yeah. You can go down there and help train with Felix uh, down there at the... <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Steve Arner will join us here on the program. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day, enjoying the last day of reggae and some hopefully spring conditions out there on the hill. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find at our website, WSKI. TV.com, including much more. A mix of sun and clouds for today. We should see base temperatures warming up into the upper 40s. A west wind uh, noticeable, especially this morning down around the base, and 41 to 43 at the summit with some noticeable breezes up top, up top as well. So that breeze forecasted to be uh, strong in the morning, but that should die down as the sun comes up. 47 to 49 at the base for Monday with a west northwest wind still elevated a bit, and summit temperatures getting into the 40s with sunshine. Uh, for most of the day. Could see a p.m. shower on Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday look like sunny days, getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Thursday should start out great, and then some showers in the afternoon come into the picture uh, with a high temperature, still warm, around 53 degrees. As far as your trail report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors, 131 trails to ski and ride on, 11 lifts, getting you to 47 groom trails. Spring conditions out there, Burt Mountain, Bracket Basin, that's all closed up. Uh, so take note of that. Uh, I want to stay on the groom terrain first thing this morning. It's 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area at 8.30. And then Skyline, Double Runner, and Super Quad get going at 8.30 as well. And 8 o'clock, last day for West Mountain proper. And Bucksaw Express gets going at 8.30 as well. King Pine and Whiffletree, those service the east side lifts. That'll be the last day for those lifts. Uh, Whiffletree during the week. It'll be open back up next weekend. And then Timberline, the uppermost lift, gets going at 9 a.m. as well. As far as grooming, they hope to get out to Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Sluice on the west side, Scoot Windrow, West Mountain, and Horseshoe, as well as all the newer trails over off the Bucksaw Express. On the east side, up high, Hallback and Ramdown, down low, Wiffle Tree, Two Hall, and Slasher, and all the trails around the base area groomed out as normal, and the terrain park's getting work as well. If you're looking for some indoor activity or some summer uh, employment, check out the Anti-Gravity Complex located right at the bottom of the Axis Road or get a hold of the town uh, for those employment opportunities. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center as well. You'll be see their uh, updated hours there. And the Sugarloaf Institution, we call it the Bag and Kettle. Check it out today for some cheeseburger soup on special. Right in Village Center. Happy Tunes as well. Great deals, up to 40% off on skis and whatnot. And the Tune and Store... Uh, program is happening as well a great spot to put your skis to sleep for the summer end of season sale kingfield maiden main shop right on main street so if you're headed south be sure to stop by there some great deals and also great deals at ski depot you can find them on route 4 and j or ski-depot.com or raceskis.com and the quad cam check it out year round so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time and we want to let you know we'll be giving away those amalgam skis we're drawing for the Amalgam Skis, and then we'll get in touch with them, and they'll make you up a custom order. Last live show is this morning, but we are here year-round, full-time. We don't go anywhere, so be sure to keep in touch with us. We're also streaming, so you can watch us year-round as well, so you can know before you go. Enjoy it, folks.
I'm Michelle DeFrosia. I've been the business manager here at Birchwood Interiors for over a decade. I'm part of a team that I'm very proud of. Our company's goal to treat every customer who walks through the door as our best friend isn't just a slogan. Our clients really do become our friends. The trust that our clients put in us is refreshing in today's world. All of us at Birchwood Interiors seek every day to work with integrity and professionalism that will continue to earn that trust. We're in Village West, so come on in, pull up a sofa, and see what we can do for you. We're back. It's a Mountain Report. It is reggae weekend and it's 36 degrees. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot. And uh, Steve Arner joins us riding the chair this morning. Many things to talk about, including uh, Western Maine Law, LLC. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good nice to see, to see you as well. Hope you're Good enjoying too. reggae. Well, now that the skies have uh, stopped raining on us, it's, uh, uh, you know. The sky is crying. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mother been, Nature has been, been cruel to us. But, you know, it's all about contrast. It, right. Yeah, it's, it's all sure. about contrast. <laughs> it looks beautiful out there this morning, at least. So, Indeed it does. You know. And, uh, Steve, we want to talk about a few things. Of course, Western Maine Law, LLC, that is your mainstay. That's what you do for a living. Tell yep. us what services you offer. Well, pretty much local le legal services i say local because i am here on the mountain indeed um, year round um do a little bit of everything so uh if i can't help i'll tell you i can't help i uh, I, I i try to return everyone's calls i i, I won't say i'm 100 percent, but 95 percent, <laughs> which is pretty good these days i feel like um uh but re real estate um uh I, I represent homeowners associations, condo associations, yeah. a lot of local businesses, uh, do family law. I'll do uh, criminal law if it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if you qualify. Right, right. I don't do all <laughs> criminal law, but sometimes I'm like, wow, that's okay. We'll do, we'll, we'll do that. Oh, that one, um, that sounds like fun. Yeah, but, I, I, you know, <laughs> kind of a little, little bit of everything. Uh, that's just how it is as a... Well, rural lawyer and you know it's great to have an attorney with a sense of humor well thank you yeah you and know? It, just in case it there's any you know people from away yeah watching yeah that are have, are have slept off last night already i guess from from <laughs> reggae um my rates are like half of what you pay in portland yeah and i happy to meet with you on weekends or or whatever and um yeah i mean my background is i come from Amlaw 200, uh, big law firms. Like I have that background, but yeah, I, I, I've moved on and now live at a ski resort, as as many of us have, have yeah found the way to do. And uh, yeah, so and, and, and you you, <laughs> you found many responsibilities oh, there sure. as well. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, one of the big responsibilities is this fundraiser for the Stratton Schools. Yeah, I don't have any responsibility for that. But, I'm just happy to share it. Yeah, we, we need to talk important. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, essentially Stratton is a school about eight miles up the road towards Canada that we in Carabasset send a lot of our, our students to. That's the, the um, for the pre-K through eight, that's the, the school that we send the most kids to. We don't have our own schools, so we have to tuition them to local schools. And they're in dire need of replacing their soccer goals. And it's not something that they've been able to to, to budget for as part of their their regular budget process, so they're looking to raise four thousand um, dollars, and you know it's the goals are falling apart. They're dangerous. They're looking to get brand new goals. The kids have all put together a proposal. They the the town has given them a little bit of money. We couldn't we couldn't quite fund the whole thing. That was sure. a little bit uh, yeah. of an ask, but uh, you know I'd really I I have used to coach them um, yeah. and. and um, you know, soccer is important to the area and and to the kids, and they really—it's not just the teams that use it. They, they the kids really use it right. all year long, and and uh, so there's no easy way to do it in the sense that you can't just pop online and donate the money. But you can send checks to, to Stratton School. Yep. Uh, it's strattonschool.org. You can find it that way, uh, and they're at 65 School Street in Stratton. If people want to mail a check or whatever. Um, their goal is a goal. Yes, well, two, actually. The goal is yes. two goals. That's Everyone right. should that's, have two goals. That's right. Yeah, that's there right. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope we can raise some money for them now. Uh, let's talk about schools as well. There's others in uh, one of the other hats that you wear. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'm chair of the uh, the the school committee, which is a school board in, in most places, but but in this part of the world, we call it a school committee. Um, and um, WSKI, thankfully, has been has been uh, very very helpful in getting the word out of, of various things that we've been trying to do. Uh, a couple of things that the town, uh, the school committee, we are still part of a uh, educational uh, collaborative with other area um, leaders in schools, including mm -hmm. Rangeley and Sad 58 and Stratton uh, and the unorganized territories. And we're still, uh, we're trying to do it. We, we've done two with you guys so far. We're once a quarter or so. I know we got to work around your schedules too. Yeah. Uh, we, we try and get together to, to promote the schools and successes that kids have had and, right. and, and students and, and that sort of thing. So we'll hopefully be looking to do that at least, you know, once this summer and then probably once for uh, around homecoming, somewhere around there and, 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 and keep this going. We want to keep the school momentum going for vibe. school. Yeah. Great yeah, vibe. Yeah. yeah. And we also, um, the town is asking the town, the school committee is asking the townspeople uh, in, a, in a warrant coming up to approve monies for um, a, uh, a capital fund. And it's not, not to build a school of our own, but we, 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 I feel like we all feel that um, when, uh, when the middle schools in SAD 58 all moved to strong, we were kind of caught unawares and we don't want that to happen again. And, uh, but we also want to be in a position where we can help the local schools where we send kids as much as we can. And traditionally, if you're sending kids to, to other schools, you don't really, you contribute tuition and that's it. Right. But we, we, um, we want to be prepared in case there's a need that, that, that really that there's, there's capital improvements and, and maintenance issues that are maybe beyond one school district to do on right. their own, that we're in a position to help so that we can do that rather than suddenly be faced with, Hey, a school closed, and what do we do now? Yeah. And gosh, we have to figure out what to do and raise money. And right. So we, we're we're hoping to put a little money to the side so Proactive. that we're, we're prepared. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. So. Well, just one of the great things that you do for the community. <laughs> and and one more hat. You're vice president of the ski club. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a we, um, local businesses should have started getting some some mailings about that. Uh, we're we're starting to put ads together and, and starting to assemble the content for, we're putting together a, a big magazine, um, kind of, which we've done in the past for the 60th anniversary and 50th anniversary, but we're coming up on the 75th anniversary of the Ski uh, Club and Sugarloaf. So um, stay tuned for that. We'll, we'll, you know, if you haven't seen, seen the, the, the letters yet, hitting you up for, uh, for sponsorship opportunities, um, it's coming. It's and, uh, coming. Yeah. yeah. Sugarloaf's already stepped up and, uh, have bought the covers, so those, those are taken care of. And at, at some point, we'll, we'll uh, I, I assume we'll be putting together some sort of uh, event, also not right. just the magazine, but some sort of celebration. But those, those plans are still in the works. And so. we want to be a part of that. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Steve, thank you so much. You know, you do a lot for the community, and uh, on behalf of everyone, just thank you for what you do, yeah, my thank friend. You. Thanks for being it. here this of morning course. as well. Steve Arter, uh, Western Maine Law, LLC, and much more. And uh, he joins us this morning. And we got a drawing to come up. All right. And we're going to draw for the Amalgam Ski. Skip's going to join us, and that's coming up right after this. See Sugarloaf through the eyes of a child at the brand new Amos and Friends store. Offering sweets, treats, toys, apparel, and more for the littlest loafers. Now open daily on Main Street in the Sugarloaf Village. Great Northern Cabinetry has been making fine quality, handcrafted cabinetry designed for kitchens, baths, and many other areas of your home since 1972. Tastes and designs change, but quality craftsmanship and great value do not. Offering a huge selection with competitive prices, Great Northern Cabinetry can make that one-of-a-kind cabinet to meet your unique needs. Contact authorized dealer Birchwood Interiors and Village West to create the perfect design for your home. 
the one-stop shop for all your alpine needs. Downhill Supply Company carries goods and gear from the ski industry's top manufacturers and offers the latest in ski tuning technology. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff get you geared up for any mountain adventure. Located in the heart of the Sugarloaf Village and open daily. All right, we are back. Captain Kip joins us here, Cap, right here in the chair. It. It's a warm chair, too. No, yeah. I'm telling you, you, I don't know how you pull it off. Every day. You and you, Andy. Neither do we. I tell you what, wow. I just want to apologize for leaving you on hold out there. But. No, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I do my best work on hold. <laughs> best, some of the best one, one liners here. Now, uh, these are skis that you have tried. Oh, yeah, they're great um, skis. Yeah, the Amalgam. This Amy one, and Phil do a wonderful job with that. Yeah, yeah. and we're, we're proud to have them as a sponsor. And, uh, Freeport, Maine. And we've had, we've had a lot of winners throughout. What, let me tell you about winners. Winners? We've had a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even last night, we qualified a few people. And, That's great. And, uh, so now, the way to win this, my understanding, is to, to, to slip a $100 bill underneath the door with the, the phone number on it. There it is. Uh -huh. And the winner is... <laughs> <laughs> That's just... You don't take checks, unfortunately. There's hundreds of people in here. Oh, wow. Well, this is Watch Nadine. and win, I'm telling you. This is Nadine's You helmet. don't get this. You don't get this watching Good Day America. No. No, no, no way. No. You keep it right here. Yeah, then, so uh, we're going to do this. Wait, we we'll do a drum roll? You want me to pick? There it is. <laughs> And the winner of the American Skis, Jake Abbott. Jake Abbott, yeah! Hey, is, his phone it? is his phone number on there? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try and call him. Jake Abbott. Yeah. You know, Andy does a lot over there. Just so, uh, just so that we could just do a shout out. He does a lot of stuff. Wait, Maybe Jake, is this you? Uh, is this the Jake Alita? This is Jake Abbott right here. All right, Jake. Congratulations. You are a big winner. You love these skis. You are a big winner. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. crazy. It's me in the house over there. And right? I told you that, that taping that $100 bill onto it really helped. It finally worked, right? So uh, tell, us, tell us about yourself, Jake. Where are you from? So I'm from uh, Newcastle, in Newcastle, Maine, down on the coast. Yep. And, and I... Uh, Good friend, uh, Maddie Tardis and Corey. We're up here at uh, Sean No Spend on the weekend. Oh, Jake, great. Well, Jake, you are a big winner. These are going to be custom made for you, my friend. Huh? And uh, they will be made. You can, you can pick your different uh, options. And uh, you get yourself a fine pair of skis right here, my friend. And congratulations to you. Thanks for watching and you qualifying, bet. Jake. Yeah. A little delay. Thank you so much. All right, yeah. Jake. We'll be in touch. We, we will be in touch with you, Jake. Yep. Awesome. We th th thank you, Jack. We appreciate Jake. it. There it is. That's a big winner right there, Jake Abbott. And he was watching. He was ready. See that mic right there? This is the um, WSKI Golden Microphone, Greg. And I would like to present this to you again this year for being the best interviewer we have on our live show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, Kip, this mic right here yeah. was the mic that Seth Westcott used for his press conference when he came back. That's correct. Uh, I do remember that's that's that story. Right. And I, 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 I jammed him a little there. bit when he was here, and I said, what we need is a winter stick snowboard, and then we'll mount that. And I got a picture, too, and he said, how about the board I won with? That would work. That would work. So we're, we're still waiting for the board, but it will come, and you know where it's going to go. Oh, yeah. Right to the museum. Absolutely. Yeah, Ski absolutely. and Snowboard Museum right yeah. there. Huh? Perfect. One of your favorite places. It is. It now, is. were you here in the 70s? You know, there's a Sprite right there in front of the, in front of the museum, that, it, that, that Sprite. Yeah. Uh, were you here when the other one burned up? I was here when, the, yeah, and I was here with, when, when um, uh, was it John Christie's car went off the backside. 
It never was recovered. I'm not 100% sure where it is. <laughs> but it did go off the backside. I think it was an American, American Motors sponsored. I don't know what it was. but Really? Yeah, one went off the backside. I can't remember the whole story. I, I wasn't right there when it went off. It was here when it did go off. What a unique sponsorship that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was unique, right. <laughs> and now it's a snowboard feature. <laughs> it could be, it could yeah, very it well could be. be. It could and be. Things have blown up around it, and there's a uh, there's a micro bu uh, bus, Volkswagen micro bus. Yes, there is. Yeah, down in, in, in um, uh, Twinbrook somewhere. There. Yeah, I that. think it's yeah. only two hundred dollars a night yeah. to stay there. <laughs> well, you got to cut the trees down that growing up through the middle. Now. Yeah, it's yeah. got nice windows, very lit uh, <laughs> mountain view, and it's been there for a long time. Very long time, long before any. Any roads were built. I yeah. can't even. I don't even know how I got there. Uh, now, speaking of long time, yes, you, you used to be the bartender at the Sugarloaf Inn. I did. As one of the places. One of the places. One of the places, and uh, uh, you actually put the cork up on the ceiling. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Martha Weber and I and uh, Seth Despot. I think it was. You yeah. couldn't remember. <laughs> well, I was since such a long time. It was the seventies. <laughs> Seth Despot, who's out in California. I saw him a little while ago. Yeah. Great guy. He was yeah. here one season. Yeah. yeah, and uh, at the Sugarloaf Inn back in the Wild West. We did have Wild West. Yes, we used to have the Wild West party for the um, for the uh, White White World Week. It was our Wild West. Yeah, it was fun. It, indeed, it was. I've got footage, and we can't show it. You have footage. I have footage. <laughs> I don't know where you got that. Oh, well, well, back when they, they had the Wild West weekend I, down there, and. Uh, we we had um, oh god that was back when Alfred it wasn't back in the seventies this was when no, Alfred, was Alfred yeah, was and then uh, I remember Alfred and they were bobbing for apples and they had the floor all plastic yes and it wasn't all that effective and they had a TV <laughs> and they were playing um, Jerry Springer uh, and that doesn't surprise me yeah and then uh, Alfred grabbed the TV and moved it like that <laughs> and the TV fell on the ground and he went oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a, I, I got a, a, a young lady from um, Rainsley pull a gun on me when I was bartending. There. Well, that's a memorable moment. <laughs> that's a Wild West night. Yeah. And as I grabbed her and pulled her over the bar, and uh, one of the pool boys was with me, and, and she's yelling, it's not loaded, it's not loaded. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was the Wild West. What kind of drink did you make her? We were, we were at that particular night, I think we are we were selling liters of margarita, which wasn't probably the best choice. I'm not sure that's even legal. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it isn't. Yeah. Again, be Wild now. West. Of course, the drinking age was 18 back then, so a lot of foolish, really foolish 18-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it didn't last that long for some reason. Yeah, well, it shouldn't have lasted at all. Yeah. It, have, it was just... Hey, can, can I tell you, when I turned my 18, yeah. uh, I grew up in Auburn, and, uh, and uh, Skippy Hammond used to work at a place called... And he owns Tafulios, of course. Yeah. And he worked at a place called the Garden Lounge. <laughs> and I went in there on my 18th birthday, yeah. and I said, uh, he said, what can I get you? You know, in his friendly way. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then he said, uh, I said, I'll have, I don't remember what it was. And he served me a drink. And I said, hey, it's my birthday today. And then he came around and he goes, it was your blanking birthday last year. <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> and that's my Skip Hammond story for today. Well, that's going to wrap it up, Kim. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate it. Oh, oh, Andy. Oh, no, we, we appreciate you and love yeah. your dedication. And uh, we're going to see you around. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. And you're not I just going anywhere. anywhere. Just for the sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good, the good the goodwill, the wishes. Oh, uh, we've got a great body yeah, of work on, uh, on YouTube, and you can look back at it and, and enjoy. Yeah, it's uh, good. Well, we're going to see you again, sir. Yeah. Uh, thanks to all of you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. This is the last live show, but, of course, we keep broadcasting. Andy will be here going. outside yeah. Andy with the weather. Yeah. And we'll be doing some updates and, of course, bringing you great events here throughout the year. On behalf of all of us here at Snowfields Productions, happy reggae. And thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, uh. <laughs> A green lion sound and play for my birthday. A green lion sound and play for my wedding day. No matter if I join.
me no matter if I'm here. You rock it with party and you rock it with fear. And the massive them my shout out if it or rare. Up here I agree, then they wish part with it. Cause you love the reggae music, your favorite love got there. And I love the ghetto, cho where we sing and where we say cho green lion, yes, I rub a dub, them love cho. In him, I rub a dub away them love. It name, a good music. What's your favorite thing to eat here at the bag? Bag burger. Bag burger. Love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the Lifty Lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. The Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center offers guests a variety of relaxation and fitness options with an indoor pool, hot tubs, weight room, racquetball courts, full service spa and salon, and cafe. Offering a variety of food options like pizza, sandwiches, salads, and breakfast items, they'll even feed you as well. Grab a hot tub or a slice of pizza today located on Mountainside Road or ski there via the Birch's Trail. There's no end to the adventures along the many trails in the main high peaks. However, there is a single location where all adventures should finish. The trails end in Eustace Village. For whatever trails you use, there's only one place that is the trail's end. Come visit for lunch, dinner, drinks, and fun in the village in Eustace. The fun begins where the trails end. Do you find yourself suffering from advanced cabin fever, violently restless legs, active body syndrome? Maybe it's time you considered anti-gravity. Only anti-gravity has been clinically proven to cure you of the doldrums, boredom, and enhanced sagging of the bottom. Side effects of anti-gravity include giddiness, having too much fun, and getting into shape. Don't bother asking your physician if anti-gravity is right for you. Just come in today and try it for yourself. Daggett Rock is Maine's largest glacially transported erratic. This massive rock can be seen by a short walk in the woods. The trailhead is located on the Wheeler Hill Road off Route 142 in Phillips. There are signs all along the way. There is a small parking area, and just across the road is the trailhead for the short walk into the rock. The rock is known to have come from the Saddleback Mountain region, many miles to the north. Upon coming to rest, the rock broke into three pieces, and this makes it possible to explore the inside of one of the region's many very cool natural features. Man, I love this place. I love this place! We love yes. this place!
Welcome to Fox Ridge Golf Club in Auburn, Maine. New England's premier championship golf course features a gentle blend of rolling hills, babbling brooks, century-old stone walls and stone bridges with an island green. Fox Ridge takes advantage of the natural layout of the land, which will demand every shot in your bag. Superbly maintained and stretching well over 6,000 acres, the Par 72 Fox Ridge Golf Club is a must-play course in New England. Rated top 10 in Maine by Golf Digest, enjoy a round today. He's the most interesting man in the world. A captain of industry, a bon vivant, a raconteur, a cool cat, the toast of the town. In complete command, he once sailed the Northwest Passage backwards. But when he wants to kick back and relax, he goes to a very special place. I don't often go out at night, but when I do, I go to the rack. Hi, I'm Sarah Thomas. And I'm Mike Thomas. And we are the new owners of Mountainside Grocery. We welcome you with more than 500 new items for you to love, including new to the store, spirits. Stop in to see how we've updated and upgraded new and fresh products. Just ask us and we will try to get what you, the customers, want. We are proud to now own the store that has served Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley residents for decades. Come on in, say hello.